What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are answering the question of how to find the index of an item in a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So today I have two methods that I want to show you that you can use to essentially find the index of an item in a list in Python. And this is kind of our setup. So I basically have a method, which the two methods I'm going to show you, and then I have this list, one, two, three, four. And what I'm doing is I'm passing in a list and then the item that I want to find in that list um, so in this case, it's going to be three, which we know is at index. So again, remember Python is zero based in everything. So that means for this list, the index is kind of start up at zero, one, two. So three is at index two. So keep that in mind um, as we talk about method number one. So for method number one, I've broken this into essentially two parts. Essentially, all this is using is just loops, but I gave you two different version of loops. The one that I normally go with when I'm having to loop through an item and get the index at the same time is I use a for loop with this uh, enumerate function, which are basically as it's enumerating give me the index that it's at as well as the item which makes it super really nice because in this setup it's just we set a variable of like the index that we want to or the the variable for the placeholder of the index right that we found and essentially as I just go through I just do this if statement and say hey if this current item in this iteration is equal to my item that I'm trying to find then set the index of that of the current item to be the value for which I'm trying you know my found index variable and then I just come out and then I just break which automatically takes me out of the for loop and and then I just print that out. Um, and the other way to do it is using a counter. Um, essentially, you have to have the same setup like this as well, like this found index equals none in this case, or negative one, or just something that's just not a positive index value, I would say. Because what it's gonna do is, as you loop through this for loop, um, it's just gonna loop, hey, item is equal to that. If it is, it's gonna set it just like we did up here. But if it's not, you know, you have to keep iterating or counting up of this, this variable of count. Um, and so if you don't have something like uh, is either none or negative one or the two things that I'd recommend, then when you go to print this out, you could get something saying like, hey, it's at index zero, which you know it's not. So if I run these two examples, you should see that they get the same result again, because we're trying to find the value of three or the index of three, and we know that it's at you know index zero, one, two. So it knows at two, so you should see these two for loops also re return the value of two when I print out this found index. So if we do that, you see, there it is, the value of two. So there's just two different ways of for loops, basically a for loop A and a for loop B that you can use to find um, the index of a value in the list. Now let's start talking about method number two. Okay, so method number two, um, as you can see, is quite a lot different than a for loop in the amount of lines that we're using. Essentially, method number two is just a one-liner because what's nice is Python for their list class, they actually have an internal method called index, which you pass in the, val or the item that you wanna find, and it will actually internally go find where it is. Now, their method could be the same as a for loop, it could be something different um, with however they're doing it internally, but essentially that's all you have to do. This one liner, and if you see, if I run this again, you should see it should say method number two at index is going to equal to, and if we run this, Boom, there it is. So I hope this th that this video has provided you value. If it has, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel so you can learn more about software development, programming, Python, and all the other cool, interesting um, development things that I find and would like to share with y'all. Um, and until next time, keep on coding. Please.